Radioactive wastes are the leftovers from the use of nuclear materials for the production of electricity, diagnosis and treatment of disease and other purposes. But who regulates the disposal of these wastes? The Department of Energy is responsible for radioactive waste related to nuclear weapons production. While the Nuclear Regulatory Commission regulates commercial radioactive waste that results from the production of electricity and other non-military uses of nuclear material. There are three different levels of radioactive wastes. Low-level wastes, intermediate-level wastes and high-level wastes. Low and intermediate level wastes are generated from hospital and industries and includes paper, rags, tools, closings, and chemical contaminated materials. High level waste arises from the burning of uranium fuel in a nuclear reactor. Nuclear power is the only large-scale energy-producing technology which takes full responsibility for all its wastes. Used nuclear fuel may be treated as a resource or simply as a waste. Each year, nuclear power generation facilities worldwide produce about 200,000 meters cube of low and intermediate level radioactive waste and about only 10,000 meters cube of high-level waste. There are two types of radioactive waste storage and disposal, near-surface disposal and deep geological disposal. Near-surface disposal facilities at ground level are usually located at about 30 meters underground. Many countries have adopted this storage system. The United States, Europe, and Japan. Near surface disposals in caverns below ground are instead usually found at at least 50 meters underground. This storage system has been adopted by countries such as Finland and Sweden. The long time scales over which some of the waste remains radioactive led to the idea of deep geological disposal in underground repositories. This type of disposal remains the preferred option for many countries such as Australia, Japan, Russia, United States and France. An example of deep geological disposal is mine repositories that are tunnels or caverns into which packaged waste is placed. These are usually located between 250 meter and 1000 meter underground. Another example is disposal in clay, where spent fuel and high-level waste is placed in high steel containers and then emplaced in excavated tunnels within a ductile clay. Another important system of disposal is interim waste storage, which is currently used in many countries to ensure the safe storage of radioactive waste while they wait the availability of a long-term disposal option. Used fuel is usually stored in 4 meter long dry casks. They are then located in ponds, like the Sea Lab in Sweden, that are 7 to 12 meters deep to allow several meters of water over the used fuel. Many other options have been considered for the storage of radioactive waste. One of these is drilling a boreholes into a basement rock to a depth of about 5,000 meters and then place there waste canister containing used nuclear fuel or radioactive waste. This option has been developed but not implemented because it's considered to be too expensive. Disposal in outer space has been proposed by the United States for wastes that are highly concentrated. This option has been refused due to potential risk of launch failure and cost. Sea disposal has been implemented by countries such as Italy, Japan, France, Russia, UK and US, but that has not been permitted due to international agreements. 
As we have seen, radiation wastes are produced from our everyday life activities. And many storage and disposal systems have been proposed, but not all of them have been accepted and only a few are now currently available.